So this is what it looks like when a Fatberg hits the screen. So you open the screen hatch, the screen's gone out on its protection settings, and you look down and there's just muck and stuff and wipes. And poor guys have to pull it out with hand tools, with rakes, with hooks, anything. And it just, it's awful. It's, it's raw sewage impregnated wet wipes. I don't think people understand the, the consequences. They think, oh, it's only just a tiny little bit of oil, or it's only a tiny bit of food scrap, or it's just one or, or two wipes. Uh, when you combine that with the fact that there's a population of five million people in Sydney, it's only a problem when they have a major plumbing bill. What's a problem for Sydney water when we have to physically remove these products? The biggest issue would be oil and grease build up in the lines themselves. Oils and grease enter the sewer at a high temperature. Once they enter the sewer, they congeal at lower temperatures and start to form a harder mass. Over time, this builds up inside of our pipework, affects our ability to pump efficiently and stops us basically treating sewage the way we should. Uh, this, is, this is hard. This is hard material. In the, in the worst places, it's, it's hand tools. You, you can't even get a jet to do the job without damaging the liner of the pipe. Wet wipes are an equally big problem in a different way. Wet wipes tangle. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the problem amply demonstrated. There's no spring that will easily pick that up without trying to wrap it around itself and then we'll have to take the gearbox out and the gearbox down. A wrapped rope type material, like a woven wet wipe, doesn't break. It's extremely strong in extension and will stop a entire transfer conveyor line, which means we can't even get it off site. That's as well. This is where screenings should not end up. No matter what you do, they get through. And over time it builds up and forms a massive graft and then bulks up inside the well. Again, the oils and grease have it all. Deal together. We get to this point where we have to use our hydraulic floor, lower it down, try and get a bit up at a time, pull it back up, and move those things that we saw before. So, all being in for about two weeks on this current clean out, and it's probably another two or three weeks to go at least. Demoralised. It's very hard to. <sighs> get to work and know that you're about to spend the next six or seven hours shoveling wet wipes. The only thing that should go into a toilet is pee, poo and toilet paper. And that's as simple as it gets.